My dear students, and welcome to Unit 1 Overview. During this unit, we are going to be covering the cell structure. The cell structure contains five main lessons. We start them. So, mainly the structure and function of cells. Your main objective is to recognize and explore the components of cell theory, that cells are the basic unit of life, that cells of all living things extract energy from food, get rid of waste and reproduce. Also, you are going to conduct an investigation to provide evidence that all living things are made out of cells to distinguish between living and non-living things based on the presence or absence of cells. You are going to talk in details about the evidence in uh, is there that cells make up all living things and how do cells determine the structure of living things. Your main vocabulary for this lesson are the cell microscope and cell theory. Moving to the second lesson, which is the cell structure. Your main objective for this content is to develop and use model to identify the parts of a cell, especially uh, the nucleus, chloroplasts, mitochondria, cell membrane, and cell wall. You are also going to describe how each part of a cell contributes to the function of the cell as a whole. You will also go into compare and contrast using graphic organizers the structure and function of major parts of plant and animal cells. Your main questions about this topic are what are some special structures within a cell? Also, how do the different parts of a cell help its function? How are animal cells different from plant cells? Your main vocabularies for this lesson organelle, cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, mitochondria, chloroplasts, and lastly, vacuum. We are going to focus on the academic vocabulary of this lesson, which are the structure and function. Moving to lesson three, which is obtaining and removing materials you are going to develop and use a model to describe how cells obtain energy and remove waste materials through the cell membrane. Basically, what we're going to talk about, we are going to talk about how materials move into and out of the cell and the function of the membrane. We are going to talk about passive transport, diffusion, active transport, osmosis, facilitated diffusion, and many more. Then we are going to talk about your main objective of this lesson is to test evidence and visuals to restate the poor function of cell division, describe and explain each phase of the cell cycle, explain cause and effect relationships of cell division. Also, you will analyze and interpret data to identify patterns in the process of cell division, calculate the number of cells when provided, the number of divisions, also, use reasoning and evidence to ask questions related to the cell division when provided an image of a cell. So you are going to understand the main four parts of cell division. We're talking here about mitosis, cell cycle interface, uh, mitosis and cytokinesis. We're also going to uh, talk, about, talk about which structure in a cell help, help it to reproduce. So oh, lastly, we are going to talk about the photosynthesis. So your main objective about this lesson is to, to construct an explanation for how plants and other organisms use photosynthesis to make food. Also, you will be able to explain the roles of light, carbon dioxide, water, and chlorophyll in the photosynthesis process. You will also cite the evidence to support the role of photosynth photosynthesis in the cycling of materials and energy through ecosystems. You're also going to understand how do plants and other organisms use photosynthesis to make food, what are the roles of light, carbon dioxide, water, and chlorophyll in the process of photosynthesis entirely, and 
the cycling material and energy throughout the ecosystem. Our main vocabularies for this lesson are photosynthesis, autotrophs, heterotrophs, and chlorophyll. Your academic vocabulary is equation. Concept, related concepts and global context of this unit, which is relationships, balance function, identities and relationship with the exploration of competition and cooperation. Statement of inquiry for this entire unit is balance within the organism helps with understanding the relationship between structures and functions that allow for cooperation and create competition between organisms. During this, during this unit, you will be assessed in two criterions, objective A, criterion A, and criterion D. Criterion A, which is knowing and understanding, which is technically means a paper pencil uh, exam, and you will before that you will have a formative assessment. And objective D, reflecting on the impact of science, we will have a project that you guys are going to enjoy. At the end of this unit, you will be having a unit project. Okay, so technically it's a research uh, project that you guys are going to be divided into four main groups. Okay, so technically the unit project is about stem cells. So you guys are going to read more about stem cells. You're going to watch more videos about stem cells. You are going to understand the concept of specialized cells. Okay, so technically what we're going to do is that you guys are going to be divided into four main groups and each group has a research question. So after the watching, after watching the video on BC and after reading the article, after doing the um, interactivity that is on BC, okay, you are going to answer these questions as groups. So what are stem cells and their basic types? How are stem cells used in medical treatments and research? What are the ethical considerations surrounding embryonic stem cell research? How do stem cells contribute to tissue regeneration and potential future applications? Uh, to see you all and to actually dive into this beautiful biology-based unit. Good luck and see you soon.